Carol, and that recent wet weather is causing problems on city streets. Many Springfield residents reporting flooding this morning. Now, this is video taken on Sangamon Avenue. And it shows water pooled up high enough so that smaller cars couldn't pass that water level. It did go down by this afternoon, but it's highlighting the aging drainage system across the city. But thanks to millions of dollars in pandemic funding, many of these problem areas, they could soon be getting a sewer upgrade. News Channel 20's Jordan Elder working for you now to break, down, break it down. Jordan? John, just this morning, this intersection in Springfield was filled with feet of water. Between melted snow, rain, and debris, neighborhoods across the city saw the same problem. The city now looking to sewer upgrades to combat this flooding in the years to come. This may look like a boat ramp at Lake Springfield, but it's actually a driveway. And I can just see it keep rising up up our driveway sidewalks. The whole intersection was completely flooded. Brian Hagley says this happens every time it rains. This front door camera showing water rising about five feet into their driveway. And that right there, that's their neighbor's trash cans floating away. It's just terrible. It causes problems for the Hagleys as well as their older neighbors who can't always clear the drains. And most of these people are 80 years old and have been here their entire lives. Flooding is an issue across the city, but officials say help could be on the way. Yeah, there's approximately $8 million worth of sewer projects that we had had planned. The city is planning to use federal pandemic money for the sewer system. The Hagley's neighborhood, just one of the areas expected to get new grouting and lining. Our system is aging. We have 100 year old sewers, so whenever we can do lining, we can spread the tax dollars further by doing that, minimizing the spot repairs that we need to complete. Brian has been living in this house for 50 years and says he'd like to see the day where this isn't his view after every storm. With any low-lying intersection, it's just a continual thing. I mean, every time it, any heavy rain at all. The Public Works Department tells us that they had three street sweepers out today clearing the roads and debris like this off of a sewer. There, there is a drain under there. The Public Works Department says that they have two more of those vehicles in their budget for this next fiscal year. Reporting in Springfield, I'm Jordan Elder. Back to you. Thanks, Jordan. The Springfield City Council, they're set to vote on that budget tonight, which does include a plan to use millions of dollars in federal funding to improve that sewer system.